They told me this thing is waterproof. Let's see about that. This is the Massione or Massione multicolor multimedia USB wired gaming keyboard with LED illumination. That's a mouthful. But yeah, the reason I was kind of interested in this keyboard, it says it has a mechanical touch feel, but it's membrane keys. It's got a backlight to it and you can change the colors on it. And supposedly it is waterproof. So you should be able to get it wet and not have any damage occur. I read through the Amazon reviews and there are a bunch of people saying, I'm terrified to get it wet because I don't want to ruin it. And then other people saying, I spilled a glass of water on it and it's okay. So I think we'll test it here a little bit. In terms of the specs itself, you can see it all right there. It does have the 106 key layout. It's USB. It's compatible with Windows and other things because it is a keyboard. It doesn't specifically mention Mac or Linux, but it's a keyboard. Again, it should be compatible. And then we open it. And realistically, in terms of the unboxing, it's a keyboard. There's not going to be much in the box. So as you might expect, you get the keyboard and you get a little bit of a diagram. It says it's modeled K801 and shows you the layout, a bunch of the function keys and what they all do, how you can lock windows and change the backlighting and everything, make the backlight brighter and darker. And the cool thing about it, in addition to being waterproof, supposedly, it says you can type these 19 keys together at the same time without having any conflict. Not sure when I would want to do all of that all at once, but there you have it. As far as the keyboard itself, it has this decently long cord on it. I would say it's probably four to five feet long and it's braided. So you'd think that it's not capable of tangling up, although it was kind of tangled whenever I undid it, but it's not too bad. The actual USB port has a little bit of width to it. Just beyond the initial USB port, you can see it's kind of wide here. So if you have your port side by side, keep in mind this may not fit hugely well against other things. And I did just plug it into the Mac and it appears to have been recognized. I am able to type, it seems, working. It does have a bit of clackiness to it. It's definitely not as loud as a mechanical keyboard would be. And if I go ahead and pull off one of the keys there, you can see it does not have switches inside of it. It does have just membrane, but it does look like it is all sort of sealed up. So hopefully that'll be sort of protected. In terms of the backlight, it appears that this button changes the color. So it's green right now, and then blue, yellow, light blue, sort of a purplish color, white and off. And then you should be able to change the brightness of it by using the page up and page down. Yeah, you can take it down, you can take it back up. All these different colors just by holding function and then page up or page down. Because page up and page down on their own, don't do that. Function, page up, page down, make it brighter and dimmer. And it's not hugely bright as it is, but sitting with it at this angle, just looking at it from where I'm sitting at a, about a 45 degree angle, not bad. You do, of course, have these little fold-up pieces if you want a little bit of extra height on it. Put it at a slightly better angle for typing. But as far as typing goes, this is pretty comfortable. Yeah, this is definitely not bad at all to type on, though. It looks like it's actually got a little bit of a screen protector over on this little side here. Yeah, there's some plastic coating on it. There you go. And there's apparently a breathing function to it. So function and tap this. It should change between all the different colors like it's kind of breathing. And you can change that speed by hitting function and plus or minus. So function plus. Yeah, it definitely changes the speed when you hold function and hit minus. You've also got the ability to exchange your WASD keys for arrow keys, if that's something that you really want to do. You just hold the function key and press W, but personally, I don't think I'd want to do that. But if again, if you want to, you can do that. And realistically, it's a keyboard. It's about 36 bucks over on Amazon. I think the only thing left to test, aside from maybe just testing out the multimedia keys, would be to test how waterproof it actually is. And since nobody else seemed interested in actually getting their precious keyboard wet, I thought I would go ahead, like I said, run this under the tap here just for a minute and see if it'll work. Now, I'm gonna do my best to try to keep the cable and especially the connection out of the water. Just get the keyboard itself wet as if you had just spilled lots and lots of water all over it. So just for a baseline test, I've gone ahead and plugged it in. You can see it's lit up. When I type, it does type. So that does go to show that it is working appropriately with this machine. And I do have this relatively inexpensive little netbook here. So if something goes wrong, I'm losing $100 total, not a massive loss. But we've got the cable firmly out of the way now. Let's see how we do. So I'll run some cold to warm water over the keyboard, just all over it. That's probably a good start. Just pour it out there. You can see lots of water still dripping out of it. Maybe you can dry it off a little bit here. But with the membranes under it, hopefully that will keep it nice and dry. All right, and now that we've got it dried, let's just hope that I don't fry myself doing this. Got it plugged in, fill it back up. It is still wet. I don't know if you can actually see that on the camera. And we are typing. Well, so far all the buttons appear to be working appropriately. Very cool. Even the 10 key works just fine. 
the lights still change colors, and we're still good. And as much as I hate to do this because this is a really, really stupid idea, I wanted to see what would happen if it's plugged in and you pour water on it. And before we do this, let me just go ahead and say, do not try this at home. Please do not try this at home. I try the stupid thing so you don't have to. So you can see it's plugged in, it's lit up, and now, I'm pouring water on it. This is a really dumb idea. Oh, we're still typing while we're pouring water on it. So this would be your, your shower experience keyboard there. And it is still working. I mean, you can see I'm actively pouring water on it and the things I'm typing are working. See, it works. Not that I can type very well underwater, but that's really impressive. Like, I'm actively spraying water on it and it is still working. And it's not frying me, which is even better. So yeah, I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. If you're the kind of person that likes to have your beverages around your keyboard, if you're the kind of person that is clumsy, perhaps like myself, and you want a keyboard that lights up and that actually kind of feels, kind of types like a mechanical keyboard without being quite so loud, 30 bucks for this over on Amazon, definitely not a bad deal. So I'll put a link to where you can find this down in the description if you are interested. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Massione, I guess that's what the, this brand name is, for sending this out for me to take a look at. Remember to leave a thumbs up down below if you like this video, subscribe to receive more, and I will see you again next time.